Okay, let's look at logarithmic form and how it's very similar to exponential form again, only this is a more unique problem. Okay, focus on the x, the b, and the y. Our problem this time is log base 8 of 2. Again, notice that it looks an awful lot like logarithmic form, but something's missing. What do we need to do? Oh yeah, plug in the x. So x equals log base 8 of 2. Think about the x, the b, and the y, and how I need to transform them to get exponential form. So this means that 2 is equal to 8 to some power. What the heck? 8 to the first power is 8. 8 squared is 64. 8 to the third, I don't know, I can't do that in my head. Well, the x obviously can't be an integer. It can't be a number greater than 1. So it has to be something smaller than 1. Fractions. Fractions are important in math. Let's ignore the x for the moment and think about what I can do to 2 to make it be an 8. And remember, I'm dealing with exponents, which means I have to figure out how many times could I multiply 2 by itself to get to 8. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Oh, that means I need 3 2's. In other words, 2 to the third power is equal to 8. The problem is, I said I need to figure out the exponent on the 8. And see, my 2 doesn't have an exponent up there in blue. So I have to figure out how to get rid of the 3. So I need to think about the exponent rules that we had before. There actually is an exponent up on that blue 2. It's an invisible 1. What would I multiply 3 by to turn it into a 1? Fractions. Fractions are your friend. 3 multiplied by what fraction is 1? Oh yeah, 1 third. But if I have to take the 2 to the third raised to the 1 third power to get rid of the 3 over there, whatever I do to one side of an equation, I have to do to the other. So apparently that's the same as 8 to the 1 third power. Hey, wait a minute. That's that exponent. I need it on the 8. Oh, so x is the fraction, one-third. Try it on your scientific calculator to prove it.